Welcome to my channel Physics Made Easy. We are discussing the rotational motion and system of particles. How? With the analogies comparing linear motion and rotational motion. We have discussed several analogies, but the main important analogy left is what is the analogous to mass in rotational motion? Till now we have not discussed. We have discussed velocity, angular velocity, force, torque, momentum, angular momentum, but not the mass. To find this answer, this analogy, let us discuss what is analogous to mass in rotational motion. We will discuss with the help of rotational motion of a body or system of particles about a fixed axis. As we have taken the direction of angular velocity or this angular acceleration towards the uh, about the center about which the axis the body is rotating that is uh, along the axis of rotation. What about mass? Let us discuss as we have discussed previously that a body in which is rotating about the fixed axis suppose this is the x y and z axis this is x this is y and this is z axis this body is rotating about the z axis like this this is the origin and suppose there is a particle at point P of mass m along with the rotation this particle is also rotating in the circular path as we have discussed and the center of the circle is at the rotational axis. Actually all the particles of the body will rotate along with the body with constant angular velocity omega and the centers of all the circles will lie at this axis of rotation and the circles of all the particles which are making along with the rotation of body their planes will be parallel to each other. What happens suppose from this point P the particle moves along with the body comes at point P dash. How much angle is rotated? Suppose this is delta theta. Its linear velocity is V. This is the center C. So, this is the radius vector. So, radius vector and tangential velocity both are perpendicular. And we have seen that linear velocity magnitude wise this linear velocity is omega r perpendicular. Omega cross r then we have seen this r and v. Look so omega rotational velocity this v and this r all three are perpendicular. What happens if you write the kinetic energy expression for the particle at P then what will be the kinetic energy? For the kinetic energy you will write half mv square v is omega r perpendicular and you can write here this expression as half m r omega square v is r omega r square omega square. So, for all the particles of the body this relation for kinetic energy can be written as sigma k i where i stands from 1 to n that will be half omega square and this will be m i r i square. What you observe here that in linear motion we have seen that kinetic energy for the whole object is given by this k equal to half m v square. V we have read 
in linear motion the rotational analog of v is omega and here we have v square in linear motion omega square in rotational kinetic energy this will sigma k i this will be denoted by k rotational that is rotational kinetic energy of the body about this axis. What is this term? What will you say? Again by comparison you will see whatever is mass written in linear kinetic energy half m v square what are we getting half this bracket into omega square that means the quantity written in bracket represents that rotational analog of mass which is in linear motion. So, we can say this bracketed quantity it is characterized as moment of inertia. So, what is moment of inertia? How will you define? Look here its symbol is I and I of system of particles m i r i square where i from 1 to n if the body is made up of n particles then moment of inertia is given by this formula what will be its unit kg meter square it is a scalar quantity what we see here that in linear motion whatever is the role of mass same is the role of moment of inertia in rotational motion about this fixed axis. What is physical significance of this moment of inertia? As from this expression we see that for an object rotating about given axis we know that uniform rotation will last until a torque is applied. How can you say this? Because in linear motion mass measures the inertia. So, in rotational motion this moment of inertia is the measure of rotational inertia. Whatever the role mass plays in linear motion same is the role of moment of inertia in rotational motion. This moment of inertia if it moment of inertia is larger then smaller is the change in speed that is the sudden change in increase or decrease of the speed is prohibited resisted. What happens when you are paddling the bicycle? when you stop paddling even then the wheels continue to rotate for some time. The disc fly wheel a large wheel of large moment of inertia is attached in the automobiles engine why to make the ride smooth and jerk free because this large moment of inertia again it resists the rotation the change in speed any decrease or increase sudden increase or decrease in the speed is registered. This moment of inertia on what factors it depends not only the mass and distribution of the mass you have seen in the wheels larger mass is concentrated at the rim with the help of spokes attached with axle and the rim. More is the mass away from the axle away from the center larger will be the moment of inertia because r will be more than i will be more. This moment of inertia depends on mass and mass distribution also with the position of the axis and direction of the axis about which the body rotates also on the shape and size of the body. So, this question is asked that on what factors moment of inertia depends define moment of inertia. You can simply define moment of inertia is the product of 
particle mass of the particle and its square of distance from the axis of rotation for the n particle system you can show this expression for any of the object due to its geometry a new term called radius of gyration that is also defined it is asked what do you mean by radius of gyration since the moment of inertia depends on the shape and size of the body also radius of gyration is defined as that distance from the axis of rotation for a body in the rotational motion at which if the whole mass of the body is supposed to be concentrated then its moment of inertia remains same as it would be the in actual mass distribution what i mean to say suppose this is the body if this is the particle m1 this is the particle m2 its distance from the center of the axis of uh, rotation is r2 this is the particle m3 and its this perpendicular distance is r3 how will you write moment of inertia m1 r1 square plus m2 r2 square plus m3 r3 square if all the particles their mass is supposed to be concentrated at that distance that is called radius of gyration radius of gyration is that distance if at the that distance the total mass of the body is supposed to be concentrated then moment of inertia about that axis of rotation is same as the moment of inertia of the with the original mass distribution then how will you define the expression derive the expression for moment of inertia sorry for radius of gyration this is small k is the radius of gyration and this capital k is the rotational kinetic energy as we have seen here what is radius of gyration look for the body of mass m if we see that body is made up of m1 m2 m3 n particles then its moment of inertia is given by this if the whole mass is supposed to be concentrated at the distance k from the axis then moment of inertia is given by this look here the for each particle of mass m what can you write moment of inertia you can write i as sigma m r m r i square okay each particle is of mass m and its distance perpendicular distance is different from the axis of rotation then what can you write here this moment of inertia can be written as this m into this r1 square plus r2 square plus dash 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 r n square okay if you divide and multiply by n this division this division here you write and you write here multiplication okay so you can write here this m into n why i have written like this so that mass of one particle is m number of particles are n what can you write for this total mass of the body that is m okay and what is here this simple whole expression here then what can you explain about the moment of inertia its uh, radius of gyration definition it says that the moment of inertia will be m k square if the radius of gyration is k then you will write here this m k square is m into r1 square plus r2 square plus dash 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 r n square upon n what is this radius of gyration k look here this will be under root r1 square 
plus R2 square plus Rn square upon N. You know what is this expression? It is termed as root mean square distance. So, how the radius of duration, the radius of duration is defined as the root mean square distance at which the whole mass of the body is supposed to be concentrated, then the body's moment of inertia is same as with the original mass distribution. Like the moment of inertia, this radius of gyration also depends on the mass distribution in the body and position and orientation of the axis about which the moment of inertia is calculated. How the moment of inertia depends on the axis and position, uh, position of axis and orientation of axis. Look a very interesting example. If three identical particles are supposed to be situated at the corners of the equilateral triangle. If you have to calculate the moment of inertia about an axis passing through one of the masses and in the same plane. What is moment of inertia? Mass into square of the distance perpendicular distance from the axis. Look here if this is the distance L what will be this distance? This will be distance L by 2. How? We have calculated that if this is L then equilateral triangle then all angles will be 60. This L will make this distance L cos 60. You know L has two components L sin 60 and L cos 60. So, look here this 60 and this 60. So, this will be L cos 60 that is L by 2 and this will be L sin 60. We are concerned with the per perpendicular distance. So, this is. So, what will be I about this axis? Suppose this is x and x dash or you can write here this y and y dash. Then what will be I y and y dash will be m l square plus m l by 2 whole square that is 4 5 m l square by 4. Okay. If the axis is from the same point but perpendicular to the plane of triangle like this. Now, this axis is oriented perpendicular to the plane of triangle. Now, what will be the moment of inertia? From this axis look this L and this L they are both the L's. Look this is perpendicular to this axis, this is also perpendicular to this axis. So, what will be the moment of inertia? for perpendicular axis simple 2 m l square m l square and m l square if all the masses are same that is m. So, in this way we have seen moment of inertia is different for different axis about which the system rotates. Now, if the particle if we consider that there is a ring Okay. Then, if the ring is rotating from the center, axis passing through its center. So, it is rotating about this axis like this. Then, each particle of mass m at the ring will rotate in what radius? That is r. Whole mass of the ring is m. Okay. Rotation, uniform rotation omega. How the moment of inertia is calculated? If you here just see what is the kinetic energy of the ring half m v square. What is v? R omega square. So, if you write here this is the half this is m, v is r omega, I have shown here this omega, then you can write here r square omega square. As we have seen 
what is the formula for rotational kinetic energy k rotational is always we have calculated just now half m half i omega square compare this kinetic this uh, expression with this expression you will find i as m r square so what is moment of inertia for a ring m r square moment of inertia is also calculated for the two particles attached at the end of in light rod <coughs> and it rotates about the axis passing through the center suppose this is the mass m by 2 this is the mass m by 2 and whole length of the rod is l then this distance is l by 2 and l by 2 then how can you calculate the moment of inertia of this two particle system simple i is what will be here m1 r1 square plus m2 r2 square where r1 r2 are the perpendicular distances from the axis of rotation simple if the rod is rotating like this then what will you write here this m1 is m by 2 r1 is l by 2 square same is here you can write there m by 2 l by 2 square so what will you get here this m l square by 4 so in this way moment of inertia is calculated so i told we discussed today what is the analogous what is analogous to mass in rotational motion what is that term moment of inertia it plays the same role whatever mass plays in linear motion it the rotational motion has the rotational inertia that is it will not change the uniform speed of rotation about the certain axis unless a certain torque is applied so in this way today we learned about the moment of inertia how it is analogous to mass i hope you must have enjoyed thank you